Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Inner Venus. It is Trixie here with Pick a Trix. I am going to be getting November of 2023 reading going for you for this upcoming month. Welcome to the channel, whether you're new or returning. Thank you as always for checking out all of your big four to get a total picture of the upcoming month, keeping in mind that I'm not a licensed physician. So if you're not feeling well, seek out a doctor. If you're new, I do pull one card from a deck <clears throat> for each week of the month. And then I clarify that card with three more cards. I'm going to wrap up this reading with the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle cards just to give you an energy from your elementals. So right out the gate for the first week of the month, you have the Page of Swords. Okay, Aries. So I am seeing here where you may be making a wish and the seeds are being planted in the first week of the month. Okay. I also want to tell you though, Page of Swords can be a very immature energy where somebody has been put on a pedestal. Whether that is you putting somebody on a pedestal or somebody has put you on a pedestal. Um, you are going to have to, in some way, shape, or form, in the first week of the month, know to trust the process. Because when we make a wish, that wish isn't instantaneous. It is going to take time for that seed to land somewhere and then blossom. The second week of the month is the Nine of Cups. So the wish does come in, not overnight, but you start to see the fruition of that. It's like where the seed is planted in the first week of the month and by the second week of the month, a sprout happens, okay? Um, like sunflowers sprout within like seven to nine days. So it's something like that. You see the first inkling of the soil being broken by whatever seed you planted. Um, and the king of wands comes out in the third week of the month. So that's your energy. Not just a king of wands, but a feminine king of wands comes out in the third week of the month. So literal magic is happening in the third week of the month. You're gonna wanna wear a lot of red in the third week of the month. The fourth week of the month is a new path that opens up for you. So whatever seeds you plant in the first week of the month, by the fourth week of the month, those seeds are really blossoming and you are going to see a new path open because of that manifestation from the first week of the month, okay? The message I'm getting for you here, Aries, is take two. Um, it's like, you might be like really gung-ho to do something, but again, it's like planting the seed, but then sitting there and staring at it for eight days. Like it's like sitting underneath the like grow light and you're just like staring at the seed or like, this is like a watch pot never boils <laughs> type of energy. So it's like, go do something else, Aries. Like you, you planted the seed, okay? Um, because I feel like as this new path is opening up, something else from your past is closing out. A Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So some, some family dynamic for you that you, I do want to say this, has been put on a pedestal. Whether you put it on the pedestal or somebody else did. And that energy is really breaking down. And because of that, that breakdown the last 10 years of your life might have been really difficult, Aries, to be honest. Um, you're making a new wish. And that new wish is what you're going to be focusing on. Um, I feel like from the first week to the end of the month, like from day one to day, what, 30? I think there's 30 days in November. It's like you are really having to take steps every day. It's like life looks nothing like yesterday. And it's looking nothing like tomorrow. Um, you're just being given a lot. Ten of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. This isn't going to be difficult. You're actually going to look forward to all these steps um, because you know that you've planted some sort of seed of intention that's really meant for you. And you're going to embrace it in some way, shape, or form that feels, I don't know, man. It just feels, there's a lot of cards that came out. Or the Fool's in reverse. The Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. Yeah, the Chariot's in reverse. Um, wow, you got a lot of cards here, and at least to the Four of Wands. So, um... You're going to have to spend a little bit of money here, Aries, in the first week of the month. You don't feel ready. Um, you're, you're a little bit in your heart about it. It's like, it's almost like when, I mean, for, let me give you an example. For today, I spent quite a bit of money on something today that I know is going to have a be benefit in my life long term. Okay. And while I wound up spending double what I had gone into expecting to spend at the time, the reason I spent double was actually because what I spent double on saved me a lot of time and energy. And in the long term, my time is money. So you got to spend a little to make a little. And I feel like on the first week of the month, 
it's almost like you've put resources, finances on a pedestal. And you're, you you have so much control here, Aries, over your finances. And spirit is like, just trust this process. Get out of your head and into your heart and trust that we are telling you what you need to do and how you need to do it. You're trusting your gut in some way, shape, or form in the first week of the month. And because of that, an old way of doing life that you have placed a lot of conditions around is opening up. Some of you don't have a whole lot of cash flow and you have a lot of credit card debt and you need to go learn how to pay off credit cards here at Aries with zero cash flow. There's like all kinds of YouTube videos out there about that. Some of you are going to receive a resource from an, a person from the past in a way that <clears throat> over the course of like four or five days, you're going to learn something because of that person and eventually you're going to reach out to that person and tell them thank you. They don't know that they're helping you. Uh, nine of cups here. Let's see, the second week of the month, there was a lot of cards for the first week of the month. You had a lot of energy going on there. Um, you're you're definitely fearing moving forward, but you know it's time. Uh, two of swords. Nine of cups is being uh, clarified by this two of swords. You, you got your armor on. <laughs> uh, you're ready to like go anywhere, do anything. You need to research Elizabeth the first a little bit. Um, but there's a decision that was made in the past. You took a blindfold off. Man, I'm really picking up that you took a blindfold off about a masculine energy. This feels like an air sign. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, man. Specifically a man. A man that was born a man, identifies as a man, clearly is a man. I don't want to say alpha male, but definitely somebody that exudes masculine energy. And you took this person down a notch. You made a choice about this person. They might be connected to like your children, your mother, your sister, and you're seeing this person through the lens of a new version of yourself. And this is a wish come true because this masculine energy represents a lot of men from a feminine's past. If you are a masculine watching this, I feel like you are a man that a feminine took down off a pedestal and you are going, there's some masculine energy here that's going through a dark night of the soul because they're seeing themselves through the lens of a feminine. Okay. Um, wow, Sag Sagittarius energy or judgment in reverse. Yeah, somebody's facing judgment in the second week of the month and Aries, I feel like it's in your favor. Knight of swords in reverse. There's no communication between this energy and this is a wish come true for you, Aries. It is. It's like a Libra. It's a Gemini Libra Aquarius. There's somebody here with a really strong seventh house placement with Cancer or Libra, um, Gemini Aquarius, somebody that is from your lineage. This is a, like an ancestor. This is somebody connected to you in some way, shape or form in familiar aspect here, Aries. And this energy if you're not a masculine, you don't identify as a masculine, this masculine is facing massive judgment and it's like karma. This person and this energy for you, you are receiving healthy karma. It's a wish come true for you to receive this here, Aries. Queen of Cups in reverse. You might have a little bit of guilt about what you receive in the second way of the month. Don't. Because I'll be honest. I have people around me right now that are receiving negative karma as I'm receiving positive karma. And it can be very difficult, Aries, to prevail and continue on in all your posy vibes while other people around you are in their negative, self-loathing, woe is me energies. And I kind of feel like the second week of the month here, Aries, it's your job to stay firm in your conviction and know that you have made a wish this month. And in the second week of the month is the 1111 portal. So while your wish isn't truly manifesting in the second week of the month, behind the scenes, there's some karma that's being cleared for you. It probably started back on September 26th. And that karma that's clearing for you is giving you the space to embrace a side of yourself where you don't force anything. What's this King of Wands in the third week of the month? Again, wear some red. I'm burping, so that's a positive message for you. Wear a lot of red in the 
third week of the month. Ace of Wands. Hmm. Wow. Ace of Swords. And a Nine of Swords. You are really up at night about an offer. Here's the thing. Um, you're going to be shining really bright Aries in the third week of the month. I'm picking up on a lot of feminines here in this reading. If you're a masculine watching this, there's a feminine ener ener energy that you would like to make an offer to. Um, and feminines take this as this resonates. There's like a masculine that would really like to make an offer to a feminine. Um, but he's scared that she's receiving an offer from a second masculine. And she is. However, one of these energies is karmic. The other is in their truth. And this feminine is going to know in her gut. Um... Both of these energies are almost going to reach out in the same exact verbiage. But Aries, the feminine here that receives these offers, it's going to be really clear that one person really just wants to get it in. And the other person is like, you're my truth. You're my purpose. You're my muse. And um, Aries feminines are going to have to sit with themselves at night in meditation because one of these energies um, inspires this feminine but doesn't just inspire this feminine feels inspired by this feminine and um, it's going to take a really big leap of faith for this feminine to go down the path of the masculine that's in his truth because it's a test but I see here that this test is being passed, okay? Um, and this feminine is going to go down the new path, this Eight of Cups in the fourth week of the month, walking down some new path. Okay, let's get three cards for uh, the Eight of Cups here. Wrap up this reading. Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you've had to be really strategic in the past, Aries. You've had to do a lot of things, um, whether you're a masculine or feminine watching this, that has felt, Aries, like you've always had to have a plan. And not just a plan, but like plan A, B, C, D, all the way through the alphabet. Um, but this new path that you're walking down is with an emperor, okay? Um this masculine that is entering into this feminine's life um, is an emperor. If you're a masculine watching this, you're the emperor. And yes, she has another offer, but you need to trust that she's going to choose you. There is a masculine here that is so hard up in his crown chakra that when he's around this feminine, he gets very hard. Like she is everything he desires she embodies everything that this emperor desires however he's not in it to get it in he wants to get it in but that's not his sole purpose with this feminine and this feminine is going to be able to respond or hold off on responding with the emperor because the emperor is going to hold back he's going to be patient he's going to let this feminine stew on his words and he's going to trust the process in a way that gives this feminine space to also trust. Um, this masculine has been holding on to this offer for quite some time from this feminine. And now it's just time for it to happen. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Um, some, some Aries here are getting a divorce. Or they're like finalizing something that's like an illusion in their life. They're releasing some sort of karmic contract here. Um... Aries, there is some sort of energy in your life um, that just does not wish you well. And I actually want, want you to take this message really clearly. When you feel like you have to strategize before you talk to somebody, there is not a connection there. If you're up at night 
trying to prepare the way you're going to communicate to this person because you're you're not sure how they're going to respond that's strategizing and i feel like the advice the really strong piece of advice i'm getting here is that we have illusions around sitting in our minds and preparing and anticipating conversation and I feel like when you receive two different messages here in the third week of the month, Aries, it's really important for you to understand one of those messages, you are going to feel like you have to cycle through all the possible ways that this conversation could go down. The other energy is an emperor. You're going to read that message, roll back over and go to bed. Because when you finally reach out to that emperor, the conversation will be organic. There's nothing to think about. And there is some type of feminine or earth energy in your life that would push you towards the karmic that you have to stress about because they're jealous. Let me see here. Let's get one last card for this uh, eight of cups. Yeah, the star. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm done. Yeah. Okay. Hangman, you're coming out of a pause here, Aries. You're coming out. Oh my gosh, my ears are ringing. I love this for you. Congratulations, because you are passing some huge test. Oh my gosh. All right. Wrap up your reading, Mother Healing. Mmm, I can't make this shit up. Okay, you need to go heal with your mama, okay? As your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more accurately. Um, there is actually a quote in this mother healing and I will, um, try to remember to put it down in the, uh, comments below. Somebody might have to tag me so that I remember to do it. Um, but it says by releasing any mother issues to heaven, your heart opens further to accepting joy and blessings into your life. Your mother benefits when you are happy, whether or not she's consciously aware of it. Okay. By cleaning your inner house, you invite new love, opportunities, abundance, and healing energy in, to enter your life. Um, heaven is really asking you, your angels are really asking you here, Aries, to give over the situation with two masculines. Some of you have a mother who has been like divorced multiple times or is in a very karmic, toxic relationship. And you are stewing in that energy. The connection to your mother is creating negative vibrations in your energy and pulling whatever this karmic masculine is into your life. Um, that masculine energy is correlated to your mother in some way, shape, or form. Whether it's your father or your stepfather or your grandfather or your brother, there's something here that looks a lot like a familiar in your life. And there's an emperor that looks nothing like, and you are the cycle breaker. Break the freaking cycle. Let it go. Change the story. Fearlessly. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in here, Aries. Please check out all of your big four to get a total picture. I'll get it to you next time.